Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I wanted to get into this Afria news that is trending. And once again, Afria shares have fallen more today. And remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. The market is at war. Donald Trump put out a tweet saying that uh, you know anybody that messes with America, we're gonna put tariffs on them, and the Dow Jones plummets. So yeah, the markets are pretty bad today overall. The cannabis stocks are down too. The only cannabis stock that's green right now is Kronos Group on talks that they are in the process of putting together a deal potentially being acquired by Altria. And when you look at APHA, Afria, and we look at the New York Stock Exchange price, you can see that it's currently down 21%. It is like falling off a cliff. We're gonna mark this, okay, so we can really identify what's going on here. We're gonna mark it here, and we're gonna mark it here, and we're gonna mark it here. We're gonna remember this day at four dollars and seventy four cents let's mark it right around there let's mark it right there so it's at four dollars and seventy five cents literally on September the 10th it was at sixteen dollars and seventy three cents so literally more than three hundred percent higher than today's price just a couple months ago so and we can see that it was at actually as high as $19 in America on January 18th 2017 so we've seen this as high as 400% higher than these current prices okay so obviously now you can see lawsuits coming all the all the law firms are jumping on and let's just talk about really what's going on. So Afria shares fall despite refuting short seller report. So we're going to get into this detail. So now Afria Inc, APH in Canada and APHA in America, the New York Stock Exchange says it stands behind its Latin American operations after shares were hammered in the wake of short sellers report that raised questions about the company's acquisitions in the region. Now, I want to be clear. I do not own shares of Afria. They are down 50% in the last two days on this report. So the short seller is definitely getting what they wanted, which was panic and selling in the market so that they can profit. And the short seller has actually put out news saying in their disclosure, we are short on this stock. So clearly this is their benefit that this is going down. Afria Chief Executive Vic Neufeld said Tuesday, the acquisitions of licenses and other assets and related businesses in Colombia, Argentina, and Jamaica, and a right of first offer and refusal in respect of Brazil were an important strategic deal. Neufeld said the company has made considerable progress supporting the building out in operations on the ground in Latin America and the Caribbean since the deal closed in September. So... He's talking about this deal, all right, and, you know, he, he's, he's saying that he believes that this was a good strategic deal. Now, what's happening is the short seller is saying that this deal is overpriced, overvalued, and that these companies are, well, let's get into it. Newfield said that the company has made considerable progress supporting and building out its operations on the ground in Latin America and the Caribbean since the deal closed in September. Remember what he's saying. Together with other members of the company's executive team, Neufeld said they personally bought a total of more than 3.1 million in Afria shares on Monday as a demonstration of confidence in the company. Now they're down already on those 20% because it's down another 20% today. So that shows that they're definitely confident in the company. I don't know how smart of a move it was because they're down 20%, but maybe they know something we don't know. It is the commitment of our incredible team and partners that has gotten us to where we are today, making Afria a global cannabis success story, Newfold said. Shares in Afria fell more than 28% in trading Monday after short sellers called the Canadian marijuana producer a black hole and alleged its... <laughs> Recent international acquisitions totally roughly 280 million were largely worthless. That's a pretty large claim. 
The shares were down an additional 17% or $1.32 at 628 in early trading on Tuesday. This is the Canadian price. Let's see where it's at right now in Canada. A P H. Let's see. A P H A. 625. So they're currently at $6.25, down 17.24% in Canada, and very similar to the price. Uh, that they were actually quoting here. Quintessential Capital Management and Hindenburg Research, which are short on Afria. Remember, they are short. It is in their best interest for this stock to go down. That is why they've worked so hard to bring all this news to the public. Alleged the company acquired foreign companies in countries including Jamaica, Argentina, and Colombia at vastly inflated prices and in ways that it believes benefited a group of insiders. This is what they are alleging, okay? This has not been proven. Afria, one of the largest Canadian cannabis companies by market capitalization, has called the short sellers' allegations false and defamatory. So they've now come out and said that these are false and defamatory claims, and this is fake news. Let's hear what Hinderberg on Afria's Jamaica deals focus made on 145 million acquisitions of Marigold. Marigold's official registered office is in an abandoned building. So they are claiming that the official office is in an abandoned building. It is also saying that it only has conditional licenses and is awaiting full approval. And is also saying it has a plot of raw land and is not approved to grow cannabis. Let's hear what Afria's response is to the short seller report. Afria is responding by saying, unequivocally standing behind its Latin operations saying acquisitions negotiated at arm's length between two COOs, Afria and SOL Global, not sister companies. So they're refuting these claims and saying that what they're saying is not correct. Afria and SOL Global are not sister companies, which has been alleged Acquisitions negoti negotiated at arm's length between the two COs and they have received financial advice and a fairness opinion from Cormark. So they are refuting these claims. They are fighting back. Now, what do you think about this news? Do you think that Afria will bounce back? Do you think that this will continue to drop? Do you think that the short sellers are correct in these claims? Now remember, these short sellers are profiting from the stock going down. My opinion is at some point this is going to hit a bottom and is going to be an amazing buying opportunity. We are looking at a stock here that has been much, much higher, okay? And I believe it will go higher again. It will resurrect. It will come back from this. They have had problems in the past and they have come back from the, these types of issues in the past. Maybe not as detailed, maybe not as aggressive as this attack is. But remember, guys, I don't own any shares in this. I am strictly giving you my opinion. I'm not a licensed advisor, okay? Do your due diligence. I'm not telling you to buy or sell this stock. The shorters are selling it. They're taking it down. They're winning this battle right now. This is a stock that we've seen that has been way higher. It's been at $21 on September 11th, okay, in Canada. It's currently at $6.27. A lot of people would say this is an amazing buying opportunity. Let's see if it goes down again tomorrow. It could go even lower. If it goes to $4 or $5, I may buy some. If, if I do buy some, I will let you guys know. I still believe this is a great company. These assets that they are claiming are worthless only amount to 6% of Afria's company. Okay, so I believe that regardless of what has been said here, this has turned into a he said, she said type of situation and it's turned into a battle. It's a war. Like I've told you guys since the beginning, we're at war. So what do I think is going to happen? I think that Afria is going to hit a bottom at some point. It's going to explode violently back up and investors are going to get an opportunity to make a lot of money because it is now at a 52 week low and we are bottom hunters here at Rich TV Live. So what do I think? I think let's sit on the sidelines. Let's be patient. I want to know what you guys think. I don't own any right now. I haven't bought any yet. A lot of members are starting to buy these dips. Let's see how low it goes. It literally has fallen off a cliff. So it could go lower.
Please, guys, I want to know your opinion. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe, okay? We just broke 18,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. None of this is possible without you guys. We bring the news. We break the news first. Every single day, we're going to bring you the most biggest trending news and give you our opinion. This company will bounce back. This company is a monster globally, and they will continue to grow. I believe this is nothing more than growing pains. When you're trying to be a first mover and you're trying to grow globally, and you've got a business that is a new industry, and it's very volatile, and it goes up and down very violently, you're going to have ups and downs. And you know what? We've got all this news and every single day we're watching it. Like they're not the only stock going down. Canopy growth is also down 4% today. The entire global economy is down. Take a look at all the news. All of it is on richtvlive.com, absolutely free. All the stock tools I use every single day, absolutely free are there. You want to learn about CBDs, cryptocurrency, all the tools are there, absolutely free. You want to contact your boy? Holler at your boy. Follow us on all social media, absolutely free. We don't want your money. We want your eyes and ears on the prize okay we want to find the winners we want to find bottoms we want to bottom hunt in the red and sell in the green okay this right now yeah we're at war we're under attack afri is definitely under attack will they rebound i want to know what you guys think they're fighting back they are refuting the claims they are saying this is fake news what do you think do you think this is fake news do you think this is real news Comment down below, share this video everywhere, hit that bell for notifications, okay? Now remember, Rich TV Live, <laughs> if you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring in the news and we bring it to you first. It's true, this is your boy Rich, and we're out. Peace. Come on, Afria. Bounce back, baby, bounce back. The people need green in the green industry. Taking the whole industry down on this terrible news. Come on, Afria. Bounce back. Fight back. Let's go. Fight back. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's go, champ. I'm out.